The Sunsica Superhawk range was always the pinnacle of performance. Stunning looks, but all about that driving performance. But today we're here with the all new Sunseeker Superhawk 55, which has ripped all that up, kept the looks, kept the performance, but now offers so much more. Come with me and let's have a good look through the new Superhawk 55. So immediately here on the stern, you see the first of the biggest changes. First ever Superhawk with a fully hydraulic platform. And very clever with all this detailing that you see here, it actually serves a a big purpose as well. So this whole platform section drops down. It reveals the garage for a Williams mini jet, which is actually located under the deck. So it's completely leaving this area free for storage. But as this drops down, you'll see it reveals more steps. So you then have a beautiful staircase down to the bathing platform on both port and starboard sides. And if we come to the stern itself, beautiful detailing. I mean, I love the way this flows through, but creates access into services like shore power, the aft shower. But also you've got then all the way on the sides here, this beautiful detailing that actually is the fair lead through to the cleats. Something very different and very unique, not just in the range, but in the industry. So let's come up to the aft cockpit. First thing to talk about is that this aft section of the sun pad lifts to reveal storage for two sea bobs or any other water toys you'd like down at this waterside area. So again, quite unique and gives you plenty of storage. You come through before we go into the deck. Let's just look at these gates. Again, the detailing that you see all the way through this boat is fantastic. And that's just a great example there with the logo and the name on the gate. Both half corners perfectly made up for either a long side mooring or med style mooring with great size cleats and the stern capstans. And then another big change you'll see is this gray synthetic decking, which A has got a really nice different modern look, giving the deck a completely different look, but also allows us to play with the normal straight tram lines, which creates this great design that runs all the way through the cockpit and up to the foredeck. Very, very different and again, quite unique. So the sun pad itself, obviously fully laid out as a full sun pad, but these individual sections will lift to create either sun pad facing aft or all the way across a seat back, which when up into this position gives you a full bench seat facing forward. And that's not where the tricks stop. So if we then open up the table, which self supports by sliding forward and then spin round, you start getting in to a dining uh, location, a fantastic dining to be honest. But not only with the aft bench seat, we can then pull the catch and actually start moving both the port and starboard seats across to the table. So you can end up with dining easily for six to eight people and it's totally transforms what was a, a sunbathing platform into a full dining option. Again, very unique and very cleverly done. Simple pull and we can pull these back out and you're back to the, the full open cockpit again. We'll slide that away and just spin back round. Very, very simple, very effective. Obviously all of these seats have storage, so as well as that aft storage for sea bobs, plenty of storage in the seating. And it, when you do move the seats in, it accesses two large lockers on both the port and starboard side as well. Coming forward, great access for daily servicing in the engine room. And if there's more major service work, the whole base of the garage can be removed. So you then have direct over engine and generator access, making servicing very easy. Coming forward, we've got a huge central wet bar. Now this accommodates a cooktop, grill top, sink, refrigeration in the end locker here, storage all the way through, and then quite uniquely an option of having a pop-up external TV in this forward section. So you can imagine 
sat on your sunbed, facing forward, maybe sat in Monaco watching the Grand Prix with your TV up here. Just again, very, very unique. The central wet bar lends itself then to the central helm. You are in a position here which is very unique. First of all, never been done before on a Sunseeker. And it's just, again, quite unique for this style of boat. You've got the feeling of a giant centre console. So stood or sat, you're very protected with the hard top, fantastic screen. And, you know, you can see you're a good way back in the boat here, but with fantastic visibility. And I can assure you, hopefully you can see some running shots as I'm speaking here. She handles amazingly. It's a twin Volvo Penta IPS 950s. It's giving it in the region of 38 knots, even with a good load. But that pinpoint handling, both when you're leaving the berth and when you're running at speed that you always get with the IPS. And this hull and the IPS match perfectly. Obviously, as normal here, we've got the Garmin uh, MFD screen. So for engine information, plotter, radar, everything is displayed here. And the information can be selected as any client would want, want with the multi-split screens. And uniquely here in the middle, we've got our own Sunseeker multi-function display. It's quite retro in its looks, but I think it's just a beautiful little feature. And again, it shows engine RPM on the outside, and then the center parts of these screens can be change the show, speed, depth, position, fuel flow, whatever you want there. Little cubby holes for storage. You've got our control system panel here, which controls all the lighting and systems on board. Air conditioning outlets. So even if you are at the helm, you'll get that free flow of air on the hotter days. And obviously, as we said, three seats here, all adjustable in position with folding bolsters as well. So you can really get into a great position. And I love the little detailing again, right below the wheel here, wireless charger for your phone. Great positioning, it makes it very, very easy to use in all ways. Main controls, I'll just quickly do IPS, obviously your main control head. The joystick for maneuvering makes this a joy to bring into the dock. And of course with this as well, we also do fit a bow thruster. So not only do you have the precision of the joystick on those windier days or when you're back in the dock and just want a little maneuver to keep the bow in check you've got the bow thruster here as well so coming from the center helm the other key key feature to the innovation of this 55 superhawk is the way that you then access the bow now i'm sure when you came onto the stern in the video you'll see that the beam of the cockpit at the stern is pushed right to the extremities of the hull. So you do not have the walkways coming right back down to the platform. But then uniquely, on port and starboard size, we have these huge doors. So I'll just shut this one quickly so you can see that. So with the door shut, you're in a fully enclosed cockpit, both port and starboard. And it gives you great wind protection, maybe when you're coming back from the beach at the end of the day opening these up and they fold right back against the combing here, suddenly you've got a seven, 800 mil wide walkway out onto the foredeck, both port and starboard sides. And look at this, we're on a 55 footer. Look at the width of these side decks and the height of the bulwark combing and the rail. Such a safe passage up to the foredeck. Again, very, very unique. This feels like we're on an 80 or 90 footer, not a 55 footer. So coming forward, we've got a fantastic sunbathing space here. This is in its open position at the moment with separate seating and sunbathing. And again, another innovation, pull the pin. You can slide this section back against the seating to then have one large sunbather here forward. Again, a unique operation, new to us, new to the industry, and it makes a great use or combination of uses for this space. 
Other little detailing that's key, you'll see all the way through the boat, LED lighting through the deck, and that continues all the way through here to the bow. Your windlass is covered under these hatches, so again, in the primary use, once you're at anchor and those hatches down, you're very protected from all the anchor gear, making it much safer to be up in this forward section. There's options for sun canopies for here. So you'll see these recessed sockets where we then have carbon poles, which will give you that very now popular carbon and um, black sun canopy to give protection from the sun up on the foredeck. With that, I hope you can see viewing aft here, the beautiful windscreen, stunning hard top, but now let's go back inside and take a look down below at the cabin space. The Superhawk 55 just keeps on giving innovation and coming through the sliding companionway door down into this lower saloon, again, it just doesn't feel like you're on a 55 foot sports boat. Give you some idea of scale. Um, it, this is well over two meters high. We have full glazing above our heads massive side glazing both port and starboard sides and then the hull windows itself with an opening porthole on the port side the feeling of spaciousness again just doesn't belie you, know, you, you just can't understand how this is put together in what is a very sleek profile from the outside and again it's a it's a very unusual space i think most sports boats of this size certainly when you have that center console cockpit uh, expansiveness that you've got here normally the lower deck gets restricted to being a pass-through maybe to the day head or to the cabin here this is a space you genuinely use fantastic sofa ability to put a TV on the forward bulkhead full galley uh, with the optional dishwasher we've got full height fridge freezer here oven sink cooktop obviously can be configured how everybody would want but it's a fantastic space. And not only that, again, unique in this style of boat. We've got a master cabin forward, great size double bed and full on suite, proper separate shower, great size, and again, quite unique. Immediately then aft, we have another great size cabin. Now, slightly restricted in uh, headroom over the bed, but you've got over 1.9 meters when you first walk in. And again, an ensuite. It is quite incredible the amount of space you've got on this lower deck when you see the sleek profile from the outside. Now, I hope you enjoyed this brief walkthrough of the fantastic brand new Superhawk 55. And if you want any information on the fantastic Superhawk or any of the Sunseeker range, then please go to sunseeker.com. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.